He made history as the first pregnant man, giving birth to three beautiful children. Obviously, Nancy's not here with you today. The scandalous, notorious, and completely unforgettable. Now, brand new revelations on the biggest headlines of our time. The Pregnant Man, Thomas Beatty. The exclusive premiere, Where Are They Now? Tuesday, 10, 9 central, from the heart of OWN. ABC 15's Christopher Sign is live in our newsroom to explain this one tonight. And Chris, uh, this could very well be one of the most confusing divorce battle attorneys have ever seen out there. No question about that, Katie. And it could also set precedent. And as I found, even seasoned lawyers see this as a learning opportunity. At issue here, is Thomas Beatty's marriage valid? Well, apparently in Hawaii, where he's from, they say yes, because he's now a man. But a Phoenix judge says he's not quite sure. This is new territory. Hawaii said this was okay and it's a valid marriage. Who is Arizona to say, well, we're going to ignore one of the other 49 states and say this is not a valid marriage? A Phoenix judge now wants to know if the marriage is real because Thomas has childbearing organs, but legally is a man, complete with a new birth certificate, social security number, and passport. If his marriage is not valid, he doesn't have to pay spousal maintenance. He actually financially does better if the marriage is invalidated. He doesn't want that. The problem is if the judge does not grant this divorce and annuls the marriage, in essence, their children will become illegitimate. It's a new issue and the judge is trying to figure out whether he has jurisdiction or not. This is new ground. The marriage would eventually crumble, creating what is a milestone divorce case, part of a transgender divorce case that is unique, if not historic. This is going to potentially affect millions of transgender people and their ability to marry. It doesn't matter what parts I have. I mean, I have had gender reassignment surgery um, with, you know, I've had lower surgery, so the judge shouldn't even be questioning this. Yeah, it seems like, I mean, he's done every step that he could possibly do, so the judge, you know, if he's legally a man at this point, I don't understand why the judge would the judge, still judge not want to The judge is getting on one of those kicks where he's like, I'm putting the whole system on trial here. Right. Is that really looking yeah, at the I case? Think so. I think it's because it's high profile, That's and right. he, he saw me on the, the front page of Yahoo, so maybe he doesn't want to make such a big decision right now um, when everyone's looking at him. I don't know. I don't know why now, because I have to pay alimony right now, so obviously I'm still married according to the state of Arizona, you know? He is a man, and he's here with me now. He's sometimes known as the pregnant man, Thomas Beatty. He gave birth to his first child in 2008 and has given birth since to two more children. Now, we're talking a little bit about your wife, Thomas, which is uh, Nancy, and they apparently are in the midst of a nasty divorce. They were married for nine years. You see them there in happier times. Uh, I guess you were in court yesterday, Thomas, fighting for sole custody. Why do you need sole custody? Is she not well? It's, it's very unfortunate. I, I wish it weren't this way. Um, unfortunately, she's had some issues with, with addiction and alcohol, and it's made it so that she's unable to effectively parent at this point and I feel that the best place for the children the welfare for the children is with me we're gonna look at a videotape you me and the whole and the audience here this is his wife Nancy in this video now in this video Tom says Thomas says she is abusing alcohol and prescription pills it's a difficult video it's, it's a little bit disturbing take a look what's wrong Nancy <laughs> well Nancy just fell over by herself in the hallway She's intoxicated with something. Alcohol, pills, I suspect it might be both, but she can't even stand up. Nancy is intoxicated, severely intoxicated on drugs. It's either um, Xanax, Valium, or other prescription medication that she purchased from friends or acquaintances or strangers. and. She she might be on vodka as well. She tends to drink like a gallon of vodka a day. So this is what that looks like. Thomas, it's got to be, ugh. I, it breaks my heart because I know how much better she could be. It, it's hard to watch that video. It, it's very emotional for me because I truly want her to get better. And now because she has failed enough times, it becomes time there where you have to bring the ax down and protect the kids. Right. I mean, part of the reason why I filmed that was to show her that this is what it looks like when she's under the influence. And, you know, there's a lot of denial going on. And I, I hope that by seeing this, she would reach out and get help. 
Listen, and never underestimate how powerful drugs and alcohol can be for some people. They, just, they are not in their right mind. I, I hope Nancy, I, you know, I've treat, treated many people like Nancy, and they can recover beautifully, and I hope. But I'll tell you what, you don't take any chances. You bring the force of God to bear while they're using. So hopefully she'll turn it around. Wow. The pregnant man, uh, you know, he was married to this woman. They had kids together. Um, they are in an epic, epic uh, custody war right now. And he shot video of... Uh, his wife um, in the house doing things to these kids that are shocking and he says and things to him and things to him and things to the computer and he is saying she has a huge alcohol problem what is your problem son? look at your daughter what did you do to her okay. so where is your mom you know um, so you, and you actually hear um, the choking. Um, right, as, she's, as Nancy's carrying the, the child out, you know, basically Nancy's arm, forearm, is up around the child's neck. You literally see the child being choked. As partially you couldn't see there because we blurred the, you know, we don't want to show the child's face. But you, you hear this choking sound, um, right. and, you know, it's pretty evident from that choking sound. Uh, that this child was being mishandled. Right. You better not break that computer. It's my computer. Stop it, Nancy. It's my computer. And then from there, uh, the video continues, um, and Nancy grabs uh, their computer, a laptop, and threatens to destroy the computer. And being a man, is that recognized in other states? Gosh, it's so complicated, it's isn't it? It's extremely complicated, and it's uncharted territory at this point because Nancy and I, we got married almost 10 years ago, and we went from Hawaii to Oregon and, and to Arizona, and, you know, we, we've owned property together. We've um, done a lot of things jointly as a married couple. We're intertwined financially, mm -hmm. um, inseparable, and the court is now wanting to relook at the issue to see if they're going to... Uh, in essence, validate our marriage by granting us a divorce. So we're going to go to trial in December where they're going to hear oral argument for and against our marriage, which is crazy. We're, we're confusing biology and legal definitions here a bit. That's what's so, so difficult about this, no? It is, and for the state of Hawaii as well as the state of Arizona, I did everything required of me to get a legal sex change. And it does not include sterilization. So under the full law, I'm still legally recognized as a man. In this case, the judge is confused, thinking that this is a same-sex marriage rather than a transgender marriage. And that's what the problem is. Thomas is in a traditional marriage, a man and a woman. Yes, he used to be a woman. Now he's a man. That should be the end of the, the argument. But because sterilization was not mandatory. This is where everyone's confused in the difference between the law and the dictionary definition of man and woman. Got it. We're fighting for Thomas's validation. It's a valid marriage. He's a valid male. He's a valid person. And that's what this fight is all about.